Hey there, Oconiac. Season 3 of Only Murders in the Building started out with two really great episodes. The writers have really stepped it up a notch this season and I want to give them their accolades. I know it's hard for them right now during the strike. Also, I must give a minor spoiler warning because I will be referring to things outside of the show, like pictures released on the official Twitter and behind the scenes video shared by Selena. But let's not waste any time and decode only murders in the building. We start out not in the year jump, but about five months after the reveal of the killer in season two. Meryl Streep's character of Loretta Durkin is an actress who has failed to gain any recognition, but found a break as a nanny in Oliver's upcoming play, Death Rattle. We get a great monologue from Meryl Streep showing why she is one of the best of all time. But during that monologue, we see her put on red lipstick in a promotional picture released by Twitter we see that the murder board has a card on it and what I believe it says is Ruby Stripper's lipstick. This could be referring to Loretta. At the table read for Death Rattle, when Ben introduces himself to Loretta, she states that her friends are beside themselves because she's working with the Cobro. Cobro is the title of a character played by Ben in TV or movies or maybe both in the past. A bro who turns into a 20 foot Cobra. Cobro is also the title of episode 7 and a golden Cobra wrapped around what could be the Pixwick lighthouse appears on a pen given to people who work on the show. I also found it a little odd that Loretta said her friends are beside themselves. We have we have not seen any friends of hers and she seems like a loner. I think that the friends she's talking of are actually voices in her head and Loretta is off of the rocker. Also during the table read, Ben was shown to have a hankering for cookies and I'm sure I'm not the only one that thought Ben was likely poisoned by a cookie but I think I can confirm that this is true. Previous video I mentioned that behind the scenes footage from Selena Gomez on TikTok, there was something on the murder board and I guessed that it was a fondant covered cookie with a picture of a rattle on top. I believe this is in fact how Ben was poisoned the first time by a death rattle themed cookie given to him on opening night. This would be very poetic by the killer attempting to mirror the play death rattle itself by having someone die by choking on a rattle. But he didn't die and I must tell you my jaw dropped seeing him bust into Oliver's room. Again the writers have given us some great twists this season already. It's looking to be my favorite so far. Ben states that he saw the error in his ways and he talks the members of the cast and crew he is wrong, giving us some suspects for his poisoning and likely his actual murder. Ben attempts to make amends with everyone except for Loretta who he calls a snake. Earlier while looking for clues, Mabel meets a crazed super fan of Ben's who lures her and Charles to his place. He drugs them and accuses Charles of being the killer. The police come in just in time but not before Mabel is to discern that this man did not kill Ben and she swipes Ben's death rattle handkerchief, a gift given to every member of the cast. Now we know later in the episode that Mabel and Charles talk and think all they need to do is to find out who is missing their handkerchief and that person would likely be the killer. I think this makes sense, but one person that I have my eyes on, Tolbert, is just a documentarian. He technically is not a part of the show whatsoever and though there was some bickering between Howard and Katie the stage manager where Katie didn't believe that Howard would get one, Tolbert I believe would not receive one because he is not actually part of the show. That could be a little statement letting us know that people who are not directly related also got one. So if Tolbert did get a handkerchief, he is a very likely suspect. I thought it was great that the trio met up to go to the pickle diner and Ben's body falls right in front of them inside of the elevator grasping the death rattle handkerchief creating a murder in the building. We were all trying to figure out how is this a murder in a building? Was he poisoned uh, inside of the building? 
and then left and it didn't hit him until he got to stage there was a lot going on but they uh tricked us uh, ben wasn't dead at that moment and we actually didn't see the murder until episode one that was pretty cool of them but there is a predicament it seems that someone has tried to poison ben and when that failed he was pushed down an elevator shaft but i'm not going into this cut and dry there is a chance that the poisoning and the push are two different people and if that is the case i think loretta is one of them she has motive, she feels that Ben is a dick, and she wanted the show to end so that her and Oliver could pursue some of their what seems to be a very personal relationship. Don't get me wrong, it is very likely that the poisoning and the push is the same person, but it would complicate things a little bit if they are looking so much at the poisoning aspect and not realizing that the other aspect with the handkerchief is more important and that they find a person who attempted to kill Ben but was not successful. Maybe that is Loretta and then she then begins to help them in their investigation. Overall, this has been a great start to the season. I love Howard as Oliver's assistant because he's not a great actor. Keeping his boyfriend Jonathan close to the story as Ben's understudy. The bickering between Howard and Katie was great. We even had a few times where people just listed off that worked on the show as possible killers. People that we should be looking into, but I don't think many of these people are anything to look at whatsoever i also feel donna and cliff need to be arrested for openly kissing each other in the mouth with tongue that was too much uh this show has done great humanizing ben and giving us a wild cast to mess with but who is the killer i think loretta is the person who tried to kill him with the cookie and someone else tried to finish him off in the elevator. If I was to make an educated guess um, with the little information we have, I would say that it was Howard or Jonathan. If it is just one killer and not two different people, there's no one that I would feel confident naming in that aspect. There is a lot I didn't have time to go over, like Charles and Ben's past, Mabel possible leaving the building, and so much more. I'm gonna go over that later this week in another video when I have more time. I'll also be talking about some of the themes of this season, which I really like, but let me know how you felt about the first two episodes, and do you think there is one or two killers? Either way, it's going to be a good season, and I can't wait to get into it all with you. Thank you for watching. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.